Go. Enjoy the ride, pal. What's up, XRP fam? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back with another one. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to show you how to connect to Flare Network's mainnet so you can get ready for the token distribution event, January 9th, right around the corner. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to be showing you how to connect through Descent Wallet, MetaMask, also show you how to get through on Ledger, Bifrost. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, January 9th, a few days, token distribution, first 15%. January 9th, coming soon. Connecting the Flare Main Network how-to guides. It's pretty simple. In MetaMask, select the color circle in the top right-hand corner of the dialog box. All you're going to do is select your MetaMask up here. If you don't have it, links will be down below. Then once your MetaMask pops up, all you're going to do is click this link up here up top. Once this drops down, all you're going to do is come down to Add Network. Then once you get here, you're going to come down to the bottom, add a network manually. You can also do this on your cell phone. So go ahead and click add a network manually. Then once this pops up, you want to come back to this site here to get the info. First one being the network name, which is Flare. Go ahead and copy the network name Flare and go ahead and go ahead and paste that into the first bar here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the new RPC URL. Go ahead and copy that. We're going to paste that into the new RPC URL tab here. Make sure that you delete any spaces, any extra spaces. Go ahead and copy the next one, which is going to be chain ID. Chain ID is going to be 14. Next one is going to be currency symbol. Go ahead and go back and copy the currency symbol, which is going to be FLR. And the last one here is going to be block explorer URL. Go ahead and copy the block explorer URL. Go ahead and paste that into the block explorer. URL tab. Once you do that, you should be good to go. Go ahead and hit the save button and we're good to go. Now you can see we have Flare Networks here. And if you're all set up for the airdrop, all you got to do is wait for the Flare tokens to hit your wallet. You can also double check up here up in Networks. You can see we now have Flare Networks. We also have Songbird. That's how you add Flare Networks onto the MetaMask. You also can import Rat Flare to your MetaMask account. All you got to do is come up here to your MetaMask symbol once again. Hit the MetaMask icon. Once that pops up, go ahead and hit this top tab up here. Make sure that you're signed in to Flare Networks. Hit Flare. Once you do that, you're going to scroll down to the bottom here and see Import Tokens here. Go ahead and hit Import Tokens. And then once you do that, we're just going to go ahead and grab the token contract address, the token symbol, and the token decimal and go ahead and paste those in. So let's go ahead and grab the first one here, which is going to be the contract address. Can also scroll down here and see which ones you're going to be adding here. Contract address, token symbol, which is WFLR, and the token decimal, which is 18. So the first one here, contract address, go ahead and copy that. Paste that into the first bar here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the token symbol. It just auto populated for us. But if it didn't, just go ahead and go back and grab the token symbol, which is right here. WFLR and paste that in here. And then go ahead and grab the token decimal, which is right here, 18. Copy that and then paste that into the bottom one token decimal bar. Once you add those all in, go ahead and add custom token. And then you can see right here, wrap flare. Go ahead and hit import tokens. And then once you do that, you're all good to go. You have just added wrap flare to your MetaMask account. Once again, if you're all set up for the airdrop, all you got to do now is wait for January 9th for your tokens to be airdropped. Next, we're going to show you how to set it up on Descent Wallet. It's pretty easy on the Descent Wallet. So let's go ahead and get started. And for Descent Wallet, all you're going to do is go to My Wallet. You're going to go to Add a New Token. And you're going to search for Flare Networks and then go ahead and add it in. So let's go ahead and pop up the Descent Wallet. Now for the Descent Wallet, it's pretty easy. Once you get to the screen here and your Descent Wallet is popped up, you're all signed in. All you got to do is go to your My Wallet tab, which is the first one here. You're going to go ahead and hit this plus button here. Once, you, once that pops up, go ahead and search for Flare, F-L-A-R-E. And there you go. You can see Flare Networks here. Go ahead and click Flare. You can go ahead and name your account and then go ahead and hit Create. Once you do that, retrieve your address info. Please wait. It's now loading your new address for Flare Networks. Create an account. Please wait. Initiating Network Sync. Please wait. 
And there we go. We should be good to go now. If you scroll down here, you should be able to see your flare networks down here at the bottom. There we go. We got our flare networks ready to go. And once again, if you're all set up for the airdrop, all you got to do is wait for January 9th. Wait for your tokens to hit your wallet and you should be good to go. That's how you set it up on the Descent wallet. Next, we're going to show you how to add it onto the Bifrost wallet. Bifrost is pretty easy. It's pretty much already added for you. If you want to confirm that it's there, just go ahead, hit this button here, go to receive, search for Flare, and you can see Flare right here. Go ahead and click Flare, and you can see Flare Network here and your Flare address here. Once again, if you're all set up for the airdrop January 9th, all you got to do is wait for those tokens to hit your wallet. We also have over 51 confirmed exchanges participated in the airdrop starting on January 9th. Could take up to two weeks. Also, Uphold says, reminder, Uphold will support the Flare airdrop landing next Monday. Uphold users will receive their Flare tokens between the 9th and the 10th of January. We also got the list here. All the links will be down below. The latest list of exchanges that would distribute Flare within two weeks of January 9th, 2023. So if you're on exchange, you can be waiting up to two weeks to receive your tokens. Also, Ledger. Ledger currently says right here, Ledger Live does not support Flare Network's tokens. As of right now, instead, Ledger users will be able to connect their Ledger device through a third-party app as shown here to access and transact on the Flare network. When will the Ledger Flare app be released? Ledger is planning on releasing this app close to the date of the official launch of the Flare network, so be on the lookout for that. Now, unfortunately, my Ledger device will not connect. I am using a Mac, but before you start, make sure to update your Ledger Live to the latest version. Open up the Ledger Live and connect your Ledger to the my ledger to ensure that your ledger device is running the latest firmware ensure that the latest version of ethereum app is installed on your ledger device and then once you're done close the ledger live as it conflicts with metamask also if you don't have the metamask extension installed make sure to download and install the metamask extension in your browser we strongly recommend using chrome or firefox i'm using bray browser open the metamask and create a standalone metamask account Pretty much all you're going to do is download the MetaMask app, create an account. And then once you've got your MetaMask good to go, all you're going to do is come up here to the MetaMask symbol up here at the top. If you don't see it, make sure to hit your extensions. Go ahead and pin it to your toolbar here. Go ahead and click the little MetaMask tab up here. Once this pops up, you're going to hit the little circle logo in the top right here. And then once you hit that, you're going to come down to connect to hardware wallet. And a new screen is going to pop up. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and select your ledger device. Go ahead and hit continue. Go ahead and connect your device. And then once you successfully connect your device, go back up to the MetaMask tab up here. You should see your Ethereum account connected through your ledger. All you're going to do is click this top tab up here. Then you're going to go here to add network. Then you're going to go here down to add a network manually. And then once you get here, you're going to do the same thing that we did in the first steps. You're going to add the Flare Networks here to your MetaMask. All you got to do is come here, paste in this information. And once you do that, you're good to go. I already have Flare Networks added, but go ahead and hit save. And once you hit save, you should be good to go. You can come up to the Network tab once again. You should see your Flare Networks up here now added. You can also come up to the MetaMask tab and hit the top bar up here. And you can see we now have Flare Networks now added. All you got to do now is wait for January 9th for the Flare tokens to hit your wallet. Also, Ledger does have a Flare app inside of its app that you can download for your Ledger devices. But it says here, Ledger is planning on releasing the app close to the date of the official launch. So if it's not quite ready yet on January 9th or when you get your tokens, you can always come here to MetaMask, connect your Ledger device, add Flare networks, and you can access your tokens that way. There's also been a lot of people asking on how to actually claim your Flare tokens. You had to have been around December 12th of 2020 was the original snapshot date. So they took a snapshot on December 12th, 2020 of your XRP balance. And then you had until June 11th, 2021 to make your claim. So if you did not make your claim by June 11th of 2021, then you cannot claim your flare tokens. But if you did, you're good to go. And all you got to do is wait till January 9th for those tokens to hit your wallet. Once again, to be eligible for the flare airdrop, you needed to have XRP on your wallet on December 12th, 2020 at double zero UTC. Also, some exchanges did support it. So check with your exchange. And then you had up until June 11th, 2021 to set up a claim. If you did not set up that claim by June 11th, 2021, 
then you are not eligible. If you did, you're good to go. All you got to do is wait till January 9th and then just make sure that you have Flare Networks added to either your MetaMask, Descent, Ledger, Bifrost. Other than that, that's all I got for this one. January 9th, a few days away. We'll see you at the tippy top. Peace out, crypto fam. Probably wasn't meant to be. You just a bag man, more commander wanna be. And my docs getting heavy, gotta let some bags go. Moon boy, push the lever and let them bags go. Staking on the flare networks now, watch my bags grow. Flare samurai flying through them astros. I told you how to stuff a bag when them bags low. I show you how to stake it, bank it, watch them bags blow. But you ain't wanna listen to that moon bag commander, aka moon bag and that moon bag dancer. Switching souls, chopping off heads. I don't hear no foot no more. It's all dead. Look up in the sky. Rackets keep sky.